The stock price this morning up a buck ten. That's nearly four percent. Twenty nine dollars a share. Would you buy it at twenty? No, and I, I was involved in Uber early on pre IPO. I would tell you oh, that did right you, now. Do, do you own Uber shares? Not currently. No, and I would not own them and have not owned them publicly. Okay. And primarily because here they're saying that Uber Eats, Uber Eats was supposed to be their driver. But look at what's happening. They have to get rid of what they had said was going to drive their growth in the future, and they were unable to execute. I think they have real problems. I would not touch this stock until it drops below 20. Then maybe it might look good if they make the management changes that I think they should make. Very, Joe? very sure. Okay, Speak. so Uber Eats, uh, I think the growth in that part of their business is around 40%, something like that. They're losing around $300 million Ooh. last quarter when it comes to some subsidizing some of these deliveries. Analysts say that they're subsidizing about three bucks per each delivery here in Ouch. the U.S., which so is quite substantial. If they get out of the business in India, the stock goes up because they won't lose the money that they were losing a tough over there. I guess that's it. When you're operating in a different locality, right, where you're, you are not the big player, same thing in South Korea as well. Well, I said I was going to buy Uber at 28, 20 For the last I did how not. many months? <laughs> and I decided to join your club. I'm not touching it until it goes to $19 a share. Yeah, and every government is against a lot of governments especially the democratic cities are against uber they're against subcontractors and as long as they keep doing that uber's going to be under a lot of stress all right jeff thanks for being with Thank us you. on a great monday morning <laughs> a wonderful rally <laughs> uh, check that big